Now let's try a different username. So we'll try, say, Josh, for example. And the password, pass123, pass123, and click register. And that's OK, because the password or the username Josh, for example, doesn't already exist. So we're down to the last stage of our, um, of our registration, where now everything is OK. So we just need to register the user. One thing to note before we do so is we need a version of the password, which is MD5 encrypted. So I'm going to say password um, hash equals MD5 of password. OK, so we've got our password hash now that we can pop into the database that will allow our login system to work correctly. Otherwise, we're just going to be comparing an MD5 hash to plain data. So now what we can do is actually start the registration process. So um, else um, we need a new query. And the new query is going to be query equals. So we need to now say insert into users values. And how many values have we got? Let's just go to our database and check. We have got, let's go back to our table. In fact, let's completely refresh that as well. So we're ready to use that in a minute. We've got one, two, three, four, five. So we need one, two, three, four, five. Remember they're comma se separated values. And what we're doing is we need to use the MySQL real escape string as well to um, stop um, SQL injection. So the first one is the username, then the password, then the first name, then the surname. So um, username, password, but password hash because we're storing it as MD5 data, first name, and surname. But now what we need to do is just end that string there and concatenate on username. Um, we can do the same with the password hash, I guess. End the string there and concatenate on first name and then concatenate on the rest of the string. And then we do the same for the surname. So end, concatenate, concatenate, start. OK, so now we can enclose these in MySQL, real escape string. And the same with this. And the same with the first name and the last name as well. So MySQL real escape string and MySQL real ooh, real escape string. Okay, so now that we've done this, this should successfully register um, our user into the system. So we need to perform the query first. So query run is equal to MySQL query and then we put the string data of the query inside of that. Um, we're going to turn this into an if statement to ensure that we tell the user if they've been successfully registered or not. So we can say if the query run equals MySQL query, so this if this query there is successful, then we can say to the user echo uh, successfully registered blah blah blah, but I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that in a minute. Otherwise echo, sorry we couldn't register you at this time. Try again later. So um, let's just uh, escape that stri uh, uh, inverted comma there, single quotation mark if you like. Otherwise, um, we're going to say uh, we're going to confirm that the user is registered. In fact, we're not. What we're going to do is we're going to locate them to a page that's going to tell them that they've successfully registered. And what this is going to do is it's going to stop them pressing F5, F5 on the keyboard, refreshing the page and registering them again and again. I know that won't work, but it's, it's a good practice to get into with a lot of data. So header, location, and we can call the page something like uh, register success.php. Okay. So let's go ahead and create this register success.php file. Now you can bear in mind you could transfer over the um, get variables. So you could say u equals username, password equals pass, p equals password or something, or just the username. 
but I'm just going to tell them they're registered for now on this page. So you've registered. Um, let's just uh, call this page. What did we call it? Um, register success.php. Okay, so that's going to be it for now. I'll leave it up to you guys to, you know, use your imagination on this one. Um, so let's test the process and see if we've got everything working. So register.php. I'm going to register a user called Dale. Password is going to be pass123. Password again is going to be pass123. And then we're going to say Dale Garrett. We've bypassed all our security, ch uh, our validation checks now. Check that the username's there, the password is uh, matching. We click register. We transfer to this register success page. You've registered. Perhaps you could have a link saying now you can now you can log in and we'll take ourselves back to the index.php file. Take a sneaking look inside here first and you can see that all the data has been processed properly. We've got ID of three now, username Dale, the password matches that because all the passwords are the same and we've got the first and last name. Now let's take Dale and password um, pass123 and click login and you can see that we've successfully logged in as our new user.